In Rocinha, Brazil's largest favela, volunteers distribute donations of soap and disinfectant to people in need. Brazil has the highest number of cases and deaths attributed to COVID-19. Five people live in Fernanda de Sousa's house, and she's worried. The majority are seniors who work and get paid by the day, so we hope we can get help. In the absence of stronger government measures, in some slums, local armed gangs are reportedly imposing lockdowns to slow the spread of the pandemia. In Peru, wakes for people who die of coronavirus have been banned, and bodies must be cremated within 24 hours. A hotline for emergency services can't cope with inquiries and requests, prompting the president to threaten sanctions against those who call for unjustified reasons. We used to get 3,000 calls a day. Now it's 80,000. We can only process half that number. In neighboring Chile, which has the second highest number of confirmed cases in the region, the government is rushing to prepare 4,500 beds for critical cases. The peak of this pandemic here in Chile is estimated to be about a month away, which means that there's no time to lose to prepare for the worst. But as the experience of wealthier countries has demonstrated, it takes much more than additional beds to lower the curve of contagion, which is vital to prevent the collapse of the public health system. Although it's increasing, mass testing is still not widespread in most countries, which is why epidemiologists believe the real number of infected people in Latin America could be at least 10 times the confirmed number. The presidents of Mexico and Brazil, the region's most populous countries, are still refusing to impose even partial quarantines. Back in Chile, authorities are ordering quarantines in neighborhoods or cities on a strictly need-to basis, not nationwide. According to the WHO, remaining healthy also includes being able to work and see your family. Obviously, the longer you are locked up, the more that too impacts your health. That's what epidemiologists are also evaluating. It's a calculation, but one that many in countries that haven't ordered the lockdowns fear could end up costing unnecessary lives. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.